Hello BG, I'm Zach Carrion and this is your Falcon Sports Update. Saturday, the BGSU football team lost the opening game of the season at Michigan State 35-10. The Falcons defense held strong, but the lack of offense hurt a shot at victory. Let's look back at the loss and ahead to the home opener at the Doit. BGSU football played tough, but didn't have enough in a battle against Michigan State at Spartan Stadium. The Falcons started the game with a huge goal line stand to force a turnover on downs and give the ball to the offense. Quarterback James Morgan had a solid first drive, completing long passes and moving the ball downfield. They hope the game is slowed down for him here in his second year. Deep throw down the right sideline, and it is caught near the 25 by Datron Guyton, the junior wide receiver. This set up a field goal by kicker Jake Suter, giving the Falcons a 3-0 lead, but Michigan State's offense was just warming up. Brian Lewerke found Felton Davis for a touchdown right before the half. BG's offense found no success in the second half while Michigan State found its rhythm. Brian Lewerke ended up with 250 yards and three touchdowns to zero picks, while James Morgan threw for just under 150 yards with no touchdowns and one interception. Cornerback Cameron Jeffries recovered a fumble and returned it to the end zone for the Falcons' only touchdown of the day. And it's picked up here by Bowling Green coming back the other way. This is Cameron Jeffries, the corner, and he's going to take it into the end zone. No penalty flags. There was no whistle that we heard. So Bowling Green gets its first touchdown. BSU had only 67 rushing yards split between five running backs. BG needs a more efficient game offensively against South Dakota, who is coming off a dominant 70-point win over Drake. Kickoff is tomorrow at 6 p.m. in the Doi. The Falcons understand they need to limit mistakes and take advantage of scoring opportunities tomorrow to beat the Coyotes. A huge part of the offense is redshirt sophomore quarterback James Morgan. I talked to Morgan about preparation for South Dakota and a look ahead at the season to come. James Morgan, let's talk a little football here. Uh, MSU, I mean, look. Yep, good it, team. Yeah, good, yep. good team. Yep. It happens. Yep. Uh, but let's look ahead to uh, South Dakota, the Coyotes. Uh, what's, what are you thinking going in this game? Um, you know, I'm thinking we just got to move forward, you know, just take the stuff that we learned in Michigan State, um, put it behind us, but also learn from us and uh, or learn from it and create uh, or fix those mistakes that we made last week and to get after it. They're going to be a good team. They won their first game like 77 to 7. So, oh, you know, wow. nothing like taking it lightly because they're a lower division. They're a great team. And so it's just coming in and executing. Right, right, right. And uh, looking ahead to the rest of the season, who do you got coming up here? So after South Dakota, we have uh, Northwestern and then Middle Tennessee. Both are away games. And then we go into MAC play for uh, a couple weeks or whatever to finish everything out. I think we got like eight weeks of that or something like that. Yeah, MAC play is going to be pretty competitive this year. You got for sure. Especially yep. Toledo this year. They're yep. good. Yep, they got a great quarterback, great offense. Yeah, they're going to be really good. Morgan seems confident in his team's ability to make a run at the MAC championship this year, but is realistic about the heavy competition within the conference. We now bring in BGRSO Director Ryan Strobeck to preview tomorrow night's game versus South Dakota. Hello everyone, joining me to talk BGSU football today is the Executive Director of BG Radio Sports Organization and the voice of the Falcons on 88.1 FM and WFAL Falcon Radio, Ryan Strobeck. Ryan, after struggling against a tough MSU squad, what can the Falcons do to get into their groove against South Dakota? I really think their offense really just needs to pick it up. Their defense played pretty well against Michigan State. They held their, uh, their own against LJ Scott, one of the better backs in the country. But offensively, they struggled passing, catching, running. All aspects of the game, they really struggled. So look forward to them to pick up their offense this weekend. Well, let's talk about that offense. James Morgan, he struggled in his first start of the season. What kind of turnaround can we expect from him and what are going to be his main targets? Well, uh, We can expect a big turnaround for James Morgan. We saw it at the end of the year. He played very well uh, in his redshirt freshman season. He's only a redshirt sophomore. Still, still a lot of potential from James Morgan. His favorite uh, target last year was Scotty Miller, but Datron Guyton, a, a newcomer, a transfer from Oregon State, really stepping up big. We saw it uh, against Michigan State in that opening drive, a big pass downfield to set up uh, Bowling Green and field goal uh, range. So Really look for Scotty Miller, Datrin Guyton for BG from James Morgan. Other than that, th you should be, see a big turnaround against an FCS school, or FCS school uh, South Dakota. 
And uh, I was really impressed by the defense last game against MSU. What can we expect from that unit this coming season? Oh, that, that unit has impressed a, a lot of people lately. Uh, they were on the field a lot, so the numbers may not have showed the, the true effectiveness of that BG defense. But they really stepped up, and that, it's always been a struggle for BG in the years past. But look for them to play a big role. If the Falcon defense played the way they did against Michigan State, against other teams, then it should be a good season for the Falcons coming up. Going into this first home game, what kind of statement are the Falcons looking to make? They got to look to make a big statement. Last year they faced North Dakota. They only won 27-26 against another FC school or FCS school. But this is South Dakota, and it's a different team. They're hungry. They're they're a team. They they're going to give you a good fight. They won 77 to seven against Drake. It's a good uh, school. They have a good quarterback. Uh, it's going to be a good fight. But BG should come out victorious uh, to uh, this weekend. Okay, Ryan, thanks for joining us. You Thank can hear you. Ryan's call of Saturday's game live at 6 p.m. on WBGU 88.1 FM and online on WFAL Falcon Radio. Well, Ryan seems confident in the Falcons, but again, eliminating mistakes will be a key for BGSU to have success tomorrow. Just down the road on the soccer pitch, BGSU men's soccer has gotten off to quite a start. So far this season, the Falcons have remained undefeated through their first four games with shutout victories versus Indiana Purdue University, Cleveland State, Drexel, and Penn. BG can credit this great start to some outstanding goal scoring from the defensemen. Senior defenseman Alex Suye and junior Mo Mustafa have both netted two goals each this year along with some great play in the back line. Also standing out on defense is sophomore goalkeeper Anthony Mebuya who has yet to let a ball get by him all season. This amazing feat has earned Mebuya Mac Player of the Week. Their undefeated record hasn't scored the Falcons a spot in the national top 25 yet. But this winning streak has definitely gotten BG some attention as they received eight votes from the United Soccer Coaches rankings. The Falcons look to continue their win streak tomorrow at home as they host Western Illinois in a noon matchup at Cochran Stadium. That's all for this Falcon Sports Update. Check in again Monday for more updates from your favorite Falcon teams.